Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Cinnamon Stitches. I am your thrifty yarn host, Jennifer. Now, today, <laughs> I'm still drinking my tea from yesterday. And I went to a couple of thrift stores and I talked about this in yesterday's video. We went to a couple of thrift stores, <sighs> I think close to three weeks ago, but because we had Mary Max and week planned out. And so in the planning of the premiere week and the Mary Max and week, I film a lot at once and I load them in on specific days. And I will do this occasionally, like if I'm gearing up for a vacation or like whatever, if there's a big event coming up and I need videos loaded, I will pre-record a bunch, right? And it's a lot of work. So <laughs> I pre-record the heck out of stuff. I edit the heck out of stuff and I get it all put on its date, time date, right? So we had Premier, or Mary Max and Week already on the, the chopping block, already ready to be uploaded. I was still filming and all that process. And so this was a couple weeks ago while I was still in the preparation of Mary Max and Week. And I was like, okay, let's go. I really needed to get out of the house. Um, let's go to the thrift stores. Uh, we haven't been thrifting in a, we haven't been thrifting for a while. And for a long time there, that was me and Mr. Cinnamon's date day. We would go, he used to work uh, a shift where he would work extra hours and then every other week he would have like Friday off or Monday or whatever. And so his job was like, okay, we're not doing that anymore. Like we're cutting that out. And so our date days would be, we would go thrift shopping. We would go just see what we could see and we would like pick up lunch somewhere or whatever. We would just spend the entire day together just thrifting. Well, when his job cut that out, we stopped doing that. And then life has been so chaotic and busy forever now. With the channel, I'm working more and more hours. With his job, he's got a lot of responsibility. He has an important, his job is far more important than mine. I'm just going to say that. He does important things and he's important to people. So, um, we just haven't been, we haven't had time. Like the weekends are so, they're gone so fast. We're grocery shopping, we're running errands. We're getting things caught up that we didn't have time to do during the weekend. Like we're running the race, right? And so we're trying to work that back in again, but we're doing it as a family instead of on date days because like the kids are always around. So like, let's take the kids. Juju likes it, Lucas loves it. He loves thrifting. He likes thrifting for like electronics and electronic components and like, he's now obsessed with like he wants a karaoke machine the karaoke machines at the thrift store he doesn't understand will not connect to our tvs <laughs> they are the old style that connected into the older type tvs they don't have like the same components so he just wants it to figure out how to mess with it so then i have to switch gears and be like well, let's look at this instead and he likes looking at old cameras he likes looking at old video game systems um anything that plugs into something else he is just fascinated with anything that has motors and machines in it or computers in it, he just my little genius baby so he likes thrift stores because there's always something to look at <laughs> <laughs> anyway, some of the yarn in this bag is not actually from that trip. It is from my scrap bucket. So this is from my scrap bucket. I don't know what yarn this is. It had lost its label a long time ago. It's not, it's not ice cream yarn. It's actually thinner than ice cream yarn. And the ball is smaller, but it's similar. And it's like a baby yarn and it's really soft. And this ball has seen better days. It's got like hair and stuff all over it but this is actually from my stash as is the super saver but i put all of these yarns together because i have projects in mind for the knitting machine and so that's the purpose of some of these yarns although this white is probably going to go on the shelf because i never seem to have enough white all right so all right we're tangling this is old, this is old. You guys saw this before. But I compiled them because I wasn't sure I was going to show you guys these yarns. 
And I'm pretty confident I showed you this too. This is Premier. I think I showed you that as well. And this one. All right, so these, <laughs> the dog mat I showed you guys on Monday was part of this haul. So, um, during that thrift, we went up north, um, Woodbridge, and there is a saver store in there. There's a saver store in Woodbridge, and I think it's Woodbridge. It's up by the mall. There's a savers. It doesn't matter. And sometimes we would find yarn at the savers, and this was not one of those trips. Um, but we also went to the Goodwill that was just up the street. The other stuff I'm going to show you is actually from Savers, but it's not yarn or yarn related. It's Disney related. And if you don't want to hear about that, you don't have to watch that part of the video. But it's made me super excited. <laughs> so these were actually at the Goodwill up the road. And these are Karen Carefree Plus. Totally guaranteed to perform. These are pretty old. They are from Target? Okay, no, Dart. What is Dart? What is Dart? It's got the Target logo. Dart store. Let's see. I see nothing. Bunch of jibber jabber. Okay. So if you've heard of Dart that has the bullseye like a target, you let me know in the comments. I'm curious. All right, so they put the Goodwill sticker, which was 99 cents a ball, over the Dart sticker. If I can get that off. The sticker says, Career, 76.79. Okay, these were originally $1.49 a ball. I paid 99 cents. <laughs> All right, so some of the older yarns used to have dates on. This is made with 67% or Orlon and 33% Dacron, which I believe is acrylic and poly it's acrylic and polyester from DuPont. <laughs> so it's acrylic and um, back in this time, like the 80s and the 90s, instead of putting acrylic and polyester and all that crap they would put the brand of the or the type of acrylic so the type of acrylic is orlon which you will see a lot and then the polyester is dacron why they called it that i don't know was i just got the color white and green and red and for older yarns especially for orlon it's not i mean it's kind of sticky it feels kind of like a felted wool a little bit to where it wants to stick on itself which is very common for orlon i like old yarns i said this in yesterday's video i like older yarns i like playing with them and making things because if this can last 30 years in a skein like this when i make this into something it's gonna last forever so because it was christmas colors i want to make something christmasy i was thinking either a small tree skirt or christmas ornaments or something in the knitting machine. I don't know what. I don't know. But like. I just. I, I thought it would be fun. So these are all Karen Care Tree Plus. No more dye lot problems. Each color always a perfect match. <laughs> so there you go. It's guaranteed to perform. Um, use warm water machine washable use warm water with any detergent always machine dry no more shaping there you have it so i got these for a dollar each and then i think this is from stash as well this is red heart premiere i'm almost positive that is from stash but they also had well they had the variegated one <laughs> and this is Karen Wintuck Ombre. Wintuck is another brand that they always have for the older acrylics. It's from Rochelle, Illinois. Orlon Acrylic is a registered DuPont trademark. It is the color Holiday. Holiday! 100% DuPont Orlon. It's softer than the K1 
care and carefree plus which was what did I say 66% acrylic so the polyester is what and that's funny because polyester now is like so stinking soft but back then like, apparently it was yucky and then I got a Red Heart Super Saver for $1.99 and this is Red Heart Team Spirit it is the color burgundy and gold which are Mr. Cinnamon's one of the colleges he went to um, colors but this is also like Harry Potter colors <laughs> so I don't know I was like I can make a scarf out of that in the knitting machine and I also got a really cute Mickey Mouse thing for my um it's an iron Mickey Mouse door hanging thing with magnets to hold it to the door which I've never seen and I paid $9.99 for that so let's see I don't know apparently I bought something else for 99 cents it says housewares open I bought three of them at 99 cents maybe that was those these yeah those are lavender so that was that it just says accessory I paid 24 cents for something no idea what I paid 24 cents for probably something little man threw in I have no idea so that's what I got at the Goodwill now I'm gonna transfer the yarn back into this bag because I need to figure out what I'm doing with that I don't have room on my shelf for that and I don't generally put thrift store yarn on my shelf just because it can have odors and all kinds of other issues so I usually keep that separated now this I got at Savers and like I said this is Disney related this is not at all yarn related so this could probably go on my other channel that I don't even use anymore I'm gonna pour myself some more tea and switch out my tea bag because I am really enjoying that tea today and I need to stop spilling on my mat. Put in a fresh tea bag. That's the third cup. And my little my little monk fruit drops. If you guys tuned in for Tuesday tea yesterday, you will know what tea I'm drinking. And the monk fruit, which hopefully having three cups doesn't upset my stomach. Alright, so savers oftentimes will have bags like this with stuffies in it or toys or a lot of times they'll have yarn in bags like this and this bag was two dollars and 49 cents and i bought several of them because this is mr cinnamon's cutting tool that don't belong in here um there was disney stuffies in here and they still had the tags on them and i love disney and i have a collection of stuffies that are Disney and I specifically like older stuff and these were from the early 90s at the Disney store and I don't think this has these are all these all have been opened so this one doesn't really have anything Disney in it and some of these are gonna go and be redonated because I have no use how cute is this bunny <laughs> I probably should have put that in one of the kids Easter baskets I forgot I had that um, I'm specifically keeping these away from Bentley because a stuffed animal is what it was a dog stuffed animal the squeaker is what he swallowed and almost killed him little cat but I think I'm gonna redonate some of these to my local thrift store Thai beanie baby this is freckles June 3rd 1996 um, when Juju was a little girl she had a big stuffed I think it was a leopard I think it was a leopard um, she had a bigger one and she carried it everywhere with her I mean the thing just was so ragged after a while she was probably like three or four and she named him Pepe I don't know where the name Pepe comes from because um, she named him before she really was taught like she had him from the time she was very like a baby and she carried him with her everywhere and 
she named him Pepe before she really could talk or express herself and just Pepe stuck so it was Pepe and that reminds me of Pepe <laughs> and then this cute little peacock who has seen better days I think I actually might keep this one because it's cute and I really like birds this is flashy December 30th 2000 But yeah, he's seen better days, but I think he's really cool. He just needs to be cleaned up a little bit. And then... A little St. Patrick's Day one. I've never seen this one. I have one of the other ones. Because I have um, a Princess Diana Beanie Baby back there. I have a couple of these that... I, this is Clover, March 17th, 2001. Um, I have one of the... St. Patrick's Day one, but he doesn't have a green face. He actually looks way different than that one. But like I said, some of these are going to be redonated. Um, trying to get this. It's on a reusable box bag. I'm trying to get it so it doesn't collapse. This one I'm keeping too, and you guys will know why. Because <laughs> he goes with my little snake buddy back here. The snake beanie baby, which I've never seen a snake beanie baby. He's a, a zodiac. He's the snake. So he's the Chinese zodiac snake. And he's actually curved so that he goes around stuff. But I'm keeping him. He's going to go with my other snake back there. So my snake has buddies. These are going to get redonated. There's two of them. These say full of beans. What's the matter, Bubba's? Another peacock. Go to get redonated. Whoops! Leave it. And then this guy is Disney. He is. I don't even know what show this is from. I looked it up and I don't remember. Anyway, these are from like the early 90s Disney store. Fair Folk. Fair Folk. And I don't know this character, so he's probably going to be redonated so somebody else can find him. Fair Folk. Right. Disney. Characters led by King. Idoleg in Disney's 1985 animated feature, The Black Cauldron. Oh, so he's from The Black Cauldron, which I have never seen. Hang on, i got to change my battery. Alright, so apparently he is going on eBay for $12.50. So, I mean... I'll probably just re-donate him and let somebody else discover him. <laughs> I am not a reseller. I never plan on being a reseller. So, what really made me excited is some of the bags had dwarfs in it. Now, I did not find all seven dwarfs. I only found five of the dwarfs, and we searched all the bags, and they were all separated into different bags. So, all right, guys, you gotta move. I should collapse in my box. Um. I bought several bags because I was trying to get the dwarves. And even though I don't have all the dwarves, that's cool. And I also got Gigi. <laughs> I thought, okay, there's a story behind Gigi. Gigi is like a little black poodle. I had Gigi when I was 16, 15, 16. Um, I actually went looking for Gigi. And so when I found Gigi in the thrift store in one of these bags, I was super excited. And even Juju remembers because I had Gigi for years and years. Um, the reason I got Gigi is because, um, when I was, I want to say 15, my aunt had a baby. And he is a grown man with children now. And back then, <clears throat> my aunt was practicing Catholic and she had her children baptized. And when you get them baptized, you pick godparents. And she picked me as his godmother, and I also was in the room with him when he was born. I helped my aunt through labor at 15. Um, and I was very close to him for the very early years of his life. 
the relationship between me and my aunt got fractured over the years and like there was a huge separation because of a lot of things um but he couldn't say jenny so he called me Gigi, and that's why i got Gigi. and so i was excited to have Gigi back in my life because <laughs> that reminds me of you know good times so I, I will show you all the dwarfs let me get the dwarfs out i also found snow white there's other characters in here as well. I found two Winnie the Poohs. And I gave one of them to Juju because they were identical. Alright, so we got the Snow White. And these are... I don't know if these were Disney Store's version of Beanie Babies. Because when Beanie Babies came on the market, they were super popular. These retailed for $6. Which now they'd be like $12 or $15 in the stores. They all still have their tags on them. So there's Snow White and her dress is really satiny. Like these are well made. So we got Snow White and Dopey and Doc and Bashful and Happy and Sleepy. So we're missing Grumpy and who else are we missing? Disney's The Seven Dwarves names. Snow White and the Seven Dwarves have 31 characters. Here are the first three. Snow White, Dopey, and Queen. Sneezy? Am I missing Sneezy? Did I say Sneezy? Yep, we're missing Sneezy and we're missing Grumpy. So, yeah. those are. That's why I bought the stuffed animals. Because those go in my collection. I actually have a very large bashful. I think it's bashful. It might be sleepy. In my bedroom. I found him at Savers. Which was right up the road. I found him years ago. He is a massively huge dwarf. And I just loved him. <laughs> so. Um, yeah. And then there were other characters. That like I just don't. I don't really care about. But I think I'm going to pass these on to Juju. And see if she wants them. Because she likes them. So this is Marie from the Aristocats. And this is the mom. Which I don't remember Marie's mom's name. From the Aristocats. So those were in there. This one I'm keeping. Because Mr. Cinnamon's favorite character is Jiminy Cricket. And it's rare to find Jiminy Cricket stuff. It is really hard to find Jiminy Cricket. So I'm keeping Mr. Mr. Jiminy Cricket. For Mr. Cinnamon. My sister would probably be interested in this one. Because <laughs> Lady and the Tramp is her favorite movie growing up. And still to this day she loves Lady and the Tramp. And this one actually has a plastic thing. So this is Lady from Lady and the Tramp. I was super excited to find Disney characters. And this is Bernard from The Rescuers. Isn't he cute? I love The Rescuers. And then there were two Winnie the Poohs in there. And so I gave, and they were exactly the same. They were Winnie the Pooh bees. So you know I gave one to my Juju bee. <laughs> He's got little wings and everything. So yeah, he made me super cute. Or he, yeah, he made me he made me super cute. He made me happy. So now I could finally put those in my room now that I showed you, because that was my intention is to show you the Disney ones for sure. I'm keeping. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna keep him. I might actually put him up there with my purple bear. The snake I'm keeping. The peacock I think I'm keeping. And the rest of these are probably going to go back to donations. So someone else can discover them. I actually thought about... Because there is a lot of... Um, there's a lot of this going around on the internet. I actually thought about instead of donating them, putting them in places so little kids can find them. And putting a note saying, I need a new home, I need a new friend. And, you know, kind of like the hide in the rocks thing or like the crochet kindness things where you hide worry worms or whatever. I thought about doing that with a couple of those stuffies. Or just leave it on somebody's windshield to make their day happier. I thought that would be fun to do with that. I have so much notifications on my phone. <sighs> so, yeah. That's what, that's what we're doing today, this Wednesday, is we're talking about thrifting. <laughs> um, we're probably going to see more thrifting videos in the future. I would really like to go back um, in a couple weeks when, you know, everything is 
new and fresh again. I'd like to go back in a couple weeks and go up to Savers again and see if they have any more yarn. Because Savers is like, they usually have like the best selection of yarn. I've been searching all of the local um, thrift stores for like ever since the pandemic hit. It's kind of like all of the yarn got pulled out of the market and now like I can find yarn very easily on Facebook. As a matter of fact, <laughs> It was popping up to me on Facebook market Marketplace and it was like yarn for sale in, you know, sections. And so I clicked on one of the things and it says, this person is a member, a member of your um, Cinnamon Stitches Facebook group. And I was like, oh, one of my little cinnamon people are selling their yarn. <laughs> and it said, she's moving and she's just trying to get rid of some work. So if you're watching this and you're in local area to me, and you're selling your yarn because you're getting ready to move. I saw your post. Hi. <laughs> I actually thought about contacting you and buying your yarn, but like I don't, I don't need it really. <laughs> I hope you have luck selling it though. But yeah, I thought that was funny. I was like, that's kind of funny. That's like just a weird world of coincidences that I've seen that pop up. Although, let's be truthful. We know that Facebook watches everything we do and listens to us on our phones. So... <laughs> Like, chances are they showed me that ad on purpose. My words are getting really jumbled today. So, yeah. I have no doubt that that was a purposeful thing. I'm really enjoying this tea. I showed this yesterday. It's the Bridgerton tea. Today, I'm just loving it. It's just, it's going with my mood. I'm just digging it. All right, so tomorrow, tomorrow we have an unboxing from Premier Yarns. This is yarn that I bought on sale a couple of weeks ago and I used the gift card that Premier Yarn sent me for a thank you for Premier Week and so I was very excited to buy that and I have not opened the box yet and it's been here since, uh, it's been here a few days, it came a couple days ago, like several days ago and I still ain't opened it and it's killing me because I just want to get, because I cleaned off, I cleaned and I moved all these shelves and I cleaned and I put stuff away that was supposed to be put away. And so now there's room for things to go. Like I left room on the bottom of the shelf particularly. There, right now there's a crate down there. But the crate can come out. And there's room for the yarn that I purchased. Because I bought cakes. Uh, I didn't buy just cakes. But I bought cakes. And there's room down there for the bags of cakes to slide in. Provided they bagged the cakes. I hope they bag the cakes. Because that will just make my life easier. Because I think I bought in... I think I bought bags of three, so they should just be in a bag. So I can slide the bags of cakes just right in there. And because when it's close to the floor like that, because some of these shelves have, um, like, this shelf, I, I can't because it's too thin. It's a thin shelf, so I can't fit multiple cakes or anything on there. So the yarn on the bottom of the shelf is just exposed to dog hair or whatever. But the yarn on this shelf is in bags because it's really deep so I could fit like sleeves of yarn in there and so those are all bags and stuff down there so that's why that's cleaned out for that <laughs> right now there's a milk crate down there with yarn in it but that's going to come out and be moved around I've been trying to this shelf but not the shelf the shelf right next to it has doors and it was up against the wall and in order to get that, I had to move Mr. Cinnamon's chair. I had to go, like, dig. And there's not a lot of space back there. And I was I was forgetting what's down there because I can't get to it. And it was just irritating me to no end. So what I did, as a matter of fact, I have a bookshelf behind you. I might move to this side of the room and slide the table all the way down. Just so that there's more space to get into the cabinets. Because I can't get into that cabinet either because there's stuff there. My project bags and all that stuff is right there. Like my whips. Because now that I'm doing long-term whips with like Jade and Stitches and stuff, um, my whip bags are piling up right there. And I can't get into that cabinet. So I might actually... No, because if I move that, I have to move that picture. I know you guys can't see what I'm talking about, so I should probably just be quiet. <laughs> but anyway, I don't Anyway. Um, I don't know what the point of any of that was. But I've been moving stuff around so I can actually get into the cabinets. Although now that I moved this, I have room to move my desk down. Because my desk is a kitchen, a full-size kitchen table. It's 
I don't, it's at least five feet long. And it takes up a lot of room in here, but it, there's always... I just need all of this room for everything I do. And so I might be able to slide that down and still get into that. And then I'll be able to get into there. We'll see. I don't know. Anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow for Piao and yarn and yarn talk and all that good stuff. And um, yeah, I'll see you then. Bye, guys.